man. So, mm, it's a tough one. So, uh, Adidas, Nike, or Jordan. Mm. I ain't even gonna care. I'm gonna probably go with Nike. Man, I went with Nike. Who gonna call me out? Let's see who gonna call your boy out. I'm gonna give your heads up about the coast this week. Oh, we're gonna have our hands full dealing with Michael Pittman Jr. on the outside. I ain't gonna have my hands full because they're gonna be clowned up. Straight up. See, I'll be ready. What's the intel on them? Uh, uh, I said, let's see. I'm gonna definitely be ready, but what's the intel on them? Let's see. Top right here. He's quick, physical, and has a nonsense. Be prepared to spend some time studying the film. Stay sharp. It's week 15 of the NFL, and all eyes are on the Jaguars. Superstar cornerback. He's one of the last guys you want to target in coverage. with Richardson. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. First couple snaps, first drive of the game. It's all about who can land that opening punch. Gain that first advantage in a game-long back and forth. Well, that opening punch was a solid cross, maybe even an uppercut. It caught him right on the job and sets an immediate tone for this defense. All right, here we go. Second down. Ready. <laughs> Trying again, following the set. That's brought in. It's his back, Jonathan Taylor. And he crosses his sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like, the 30. Drive in dire straits. It's third and nine. Working from the gun, it's Richardson. Catch made by Mitchell. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. So march it forward after they accept the penalty. They'll have a new set of downs following that defensive penalty. Get ready, go. They'll run here following the penalty. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Second and 12 behind the sticks. McBride hauls it in. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. Here we go, Check. Check up. From the shotgun, it's Richardson. It's a completion of Michael Pittman Jr. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Offense already looking like they're in mid-game form. They've got it down to the 32. First down throw here from Richardson. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. That one intended for Trey McBride. And we'll see what they do here on second down. They'll throw again, Richardson. And he's not going to escape this. The Jags drop him. Now, after that play, we've got somebody shaken up. And you don't want to see serious injury in the midst of their playoff push. He's being looked at here. The Jags bringing out the dime look. Third down. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. And he will score. Touchdown, Indiana. The Colts finish off their opening drive. It's an Adonai Mitchell touchdown. 
He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when he can go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, whew, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. Richardson now. This one finds Taylor. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Gain and the drive continues forward. The drive picks up here. First and 10. Let's go now. Throwing from the pistol, Richardson. That's going to be caught by Mitchell. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. New slate of downs to approach here from the 40. Option give to Taylor. Makes a cut to the right sideline. It's a 21-yard gain. And it'll be first down, Colts. Even with everything he wrapped up on that run, you could argue he deserved maybe a little bit more. That call was the perfect one to break for big yards. The only thing that saved the defense from the score was getting that contact to slow him down and eventually, finally, stop him. He's forward, gets a couple of yards. It was Andre Sisco who hauled him down there. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Off the play fake. Here's Richardson. Flushed out of the pocket. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. To get home and hit an impact quarterback at this level, well, typically you got to do what this defense is doing. And that's keeping an offense okay, off balance. Okay. Change up your looks. Rotate your personnel. Throw in some wrinkles. And once go, again, go hit that quarterback. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. Oh, look at those savvy linebackers. They're just right in the middle of everything, aren't they, Kate? And it seems like at times they are the quickest reactions as well. He needed a quick one right there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. it on first and ten and they love to see him fighting forward but he only gets him three hey, we know running the ball in the nfl is hard and that play pretty indicative of it here's the key though at the end of the game those type of plays got to be in the minority and the majority have got to do some damage finds his man downs it takes a certain level of fearlessness craziness to work over the middle of the field in this league you're fighting through guys as you go and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. Third and short yard to cheer Richardson. Escapes the pocket. He's running for it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Ooh, after that play, we can tell he's hurting. He's someone they need to help their playoff hopes. Training staff working on him now. They blow out the game. First throw for the backup now. That's Mitchell on the slant. And he takes Man, it bro, in for the Indianapolis touchdown. Yeah. 
A give left side to Taylor. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. They'll come up first and 10. Richardson. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. You know, when we were growing up in the backyard, we call them alligators. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator. He needed another alligator in order to get that ball off. Credit the defense for forcing the incompletion. He's going to snag a couple of yards, charging up the gut. Josh Hines Allen, that time to haul him down. Richardson on third. That one's cut along the left side. Oh, yeah, we did that. We did and that. he goes out a little short of the 40. They strike for 23 yards. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. Now Richardson to throw. Pittman's got it. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Okay. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that shot. And this is down to the 28th before the defense halts it. All set up now for first and 10. Throwing now, Richardson. He puts everything behind this one. Well, that's it right there. That's the resilience and the mental toughness that every coach wants to see from his defense. Not a great spot ducks. for him. Backed up close enough that they're going to get shots taken in the end zone. But instead of collapsing under pressure, they rose up and they created the takeaway. Richardson now on first and ten. He's got him. That's McBride. He gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. It was Andre Sisco who held him down there. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Ready? They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here we go, here we go. Richardson back to throw. That pass is complete to McBride. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Like, Looks come like on, bro, with all this illegal contact. And let the play stand. That penalty is declined. Pass all 80. Running it after the penalty. Beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Well, one defender failed. Well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Six devices. Six devices. Ready. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Catch is made down the right sideline. And he takes it in for the Indy. Here we go, set. Straight ahead with Taylor. And he found some running room for a nice game. Pickup of eight on the run. And that sets up second and two. Come on, come on. They're looking option, headed left side. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. On the ready. Taylor now up the... He takes a pop and the ball comes out. And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. You know, this just can't happen on first down. It really can't. I mean, ball security is a premium on every down, every distance. But on first down, it is especially a killer. Six the Eagles! Six the Eagles! 
On first down, it's Richardson. Hits him on the out route. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. This set of down starts with an option right. And he's going to run this down to the 36-yard line. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. A run here with Taylor. He's only going to manage to get back to the line. Sent to the ground by Mason Smith. Now after that play, we've got somebody shaken up, and you don't want to see serious injury in the midst of their playoff push. He's being looked at here. And it's a nickel set from the Jags on this third down. Taylor again. And they bring him down around the 34. Ooh, after that play, we can tell he's hurting. He's someone they need to help their playoff hopes. Training staff working on him now. Here's first and ten from the 34. Let's go now. Working from the gun, it's Richardson. Left side pulled in by Pittman. And they get yeah, this all on, the way down to the 16 yard line. Bro. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? That's Move crazy. the chains in one play and keep driving that defense back. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Ready? From the gun, Taylor. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. This is Taylor. And he'll take this only to about the 11 before going down. They pick up one on the run. Need more, though. That takes him to 35. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Oh, that's my fault. And that's complete in the that's end zone. Touchdown, Indy. The Colts take a third. Seventy Tampa Wolf. Here we go. Here we go. Check. Check. Now a run with Taylor. A nice off. gain off a really good effort there just to stay upright. Second and six coming up here. There we go. Back, 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 alert, alert, Trino, Trino. Here's a gift to Taylor. And his drive forward halted after a couple of yards. Nicobe Dean in on the tackle. Looking at a tough spot to punt it away if this third down is unsuccessful. Come on, come on. Man, come on, man. What? I think this is going to give them the first. Encroachment defense. Well, it's not a long walk to the new spot, but it is a disappointing one to make. Instead of third down, they're now defending first and ten. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Going to the ground again on first. And he's brought down for a loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball and put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, that came at the perfect time. And that pushes him back third down coming up. Kate, I don't know if I've ever told you, but my dad was a driver's ed teacher. And I could just hear him right now say, son, take this out of reverse and put it in drive. Because this one's going nowhere right now. A drastic change on this play needed, and maybe a whole lot of luck to keep this series alive. We're going to turn to Taylor on third down. And the small game doesn't get him out of danger. He's at the two. Nothing for them there. Maybe one yard. That's going to be fourth down. As an offense in these situations, Kate, you could feel your own goal line, and you're not going to... Shotgun, hand off to Taylor. And he gets absolutely popped to end that one. 
Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. This close to your own goal line, they really don't want to risk a sack. That means, well, one option, run it and buy whatever breathing room you can. Second down carry for Taylor. He'll drive it forward, but won't get beyond the line. As Andre Sisco will hold him down there. Back-to-back -back run, yielding just two yards, and now it's third and eight. Let's go now. Here's Taylor. And they bring him down oh, to the 12-yard line. That's a pickup of nine. And it'll be first down, Colts. On the shotgun, it's Richardson. Catch made by Mitchell. Good little whip there. Looks like about six. DJ Reed brings him down that time. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Got him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out. Got that. And it's a turnover. The defense has it. You know, Kate, we talk about these wide receivers all the time and their incredible body control, but I'll say this. These pass rushers in this day and age... Taylor gets it to begin the drive. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. So through three, we're still knotted up in what's been an absolute shootout. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Now a toss play, Taylor. And he's caught behind the line for a long. Okay, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. With a negative play, well, now it comes a critical third down. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. On the 44-yard line now, first and ten. Option give to Taylor. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Talk to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in the phone booth yet. Have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. He made something out of that Thank play for them. Up. Everyone's so concerned with defending the pass. They didn't quite keep tabs on what he was doing as a QB. And it gave him just enough room to run. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. He's on the move. Get him. Get him. And they'll skate him up and sit him down at the line. Play it, play. Look at the quarterback's eyes. He's looking. He's looking. He's trying to find a lane of some kind, but there was nowhere to go. And he was lucky to get back to the line before that defense closed in. The Jaguars are going to call man, their first timeout. Call time out. Man, they was they still have two to work man. with in this final quarter. They got us going all sides. Now a handoff to Taylor. And he'll push forward for a small gain into the 31. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Play action with Richardson. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop it. Right there. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. How many times we see these coaches after games sit there at the press conference and pull out the stat sheet, and when they do, they look for some anomalies. And today... Well, this head coach is going to be very proud of a defensive effort getting after the quarterback six different times. Oh, six sacks, and they've had a heyday in the backfield. Oh, had a pit right there. Looking for his wide receiver there. Yeah. So that brings up fourth and long. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that... Let's go now. 
Here he is to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. So it's second down coming up. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Now to throw. And he just got it away before the hit, but the pass winds up incomplete. It's going to be third down. Well, he needed another second to deliver the throw he wanted to. you got to give a lot of credit that time, Kate, to the pass rush for getting in and forcing him to dish it before he was ready. And that's my fault. Oh, he dropped it. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. He was looking for Michael Pittman Jr. And they're going to be stuck with a fourth and long. Timing is everything in life. The timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Desperation time here on four. McBride hauls it in. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Timeout, Indianapolis. That's it, second. To throw. Throw right side, and McBride has it. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, just find a way to get him the ball. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. This is reeled in by Pittman. And they finally bring him down, but that is Ain't a no big way, game dog. and a new set of downs. Prior to first down, they decided to call a timeout. No. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout no. at least. Alright. That's not pretty boy. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Looking to throw it. Colts operating from the hurry up, rushing back to the line. All over. Nope. And he rips this one out and over the back of the end nope. zone, incomplete. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball, and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. And that's a touchdown. Great catch there, and with almost no time left. Well, Brock, they're going to need a miracle, but it is still possible. So the Jaguars come away with a win in this one. And it could have gone either way down to the very end, but they were able to come up with a clutch plays to take the victory.